All right, to end the year, I'm gonna do a final video of some train vehicle concepts. And the first thing I'll show is what the concept artist made, which is right here. And also the coloring scheme he picked for several of the vehicles. So this is the locomotive. So I was going for a sort of modern slash old school look that was fused together. And he did a great job coming up with the concepts because I wanted something like that, but also that was simple and that would be light on the triangle count. So here's another container train. And this is a mine cart, so it's much smaller than the other two trains that I showed. I was going for sort of like a cutesy, sort of childish look. And this is an oil container or oil tanker. Uh, passenger. And we're back to the locomotive. In the next portion of this video, I'll show some paint overs that the 3D modelers did showing different color schemes that I think are brighter and perhaps would suit the the game more than this color scheme, which is also good, but that's what I'll show in the next portion of the video. Here I'm showing what the 3D modelers came up for color schemes, so they're playing around with different uh, ideas. Again, this isn't textured, it was just a paint over over the original concepts made by the concept artist. So this is the first version that we came up with, or at least that they came up with, which is looking pretty good. Here they came up with some different ideas that we can try. I like the colors, they're nice and bright. And here's even more ideas, so plenty of colors that we can choose and pick from. And here's another close-up. So several ideas that we're working on, and it'll probably be finalized when the level is complete, and then we can narrow the color choices for the train. But this is the color schemes that the 3D modelers thought up of. In the next section of the video, I'll show how we progress with the actual mesh from the original mesh made by the concept artist to one that we reduced and then to the final mesh that is further reduced and optimized for the mobile devices that the game's going to run in run on all right in this video i show the mesh and how the triangles were reduced till we arrived at the final polygon count that is optimized for running on a variety of mobile devices. So the first mesh was created by the concept artist. I'll highlight that here. So you can see it's uh, very dense, not really suited for mobile devices. However, it's uh, suitable for the modelers to have a look at and and get a guideline of sort of what they can use and some dimensions. So this was the set, the attempt done by the modelers to reduce the mesh. And it's, it's pretty good. One thing that uh, needed to be worked on were the proportions. I had other ideas for the proportions of the game. And I thought that the triangle count could be reduced a little bit further and we wouldn't suffer any ill effects. So they're at 2,600 triangles for this mesh. So not too bad, but I think they can do further reductions and still pre preserve the spirit of the mesh for the passenger train. And here they've done a really good job at reducing the triangle count. We're down to 1,046. And they've also scaled the actual dimensions of the train to more what I needed. Also, as you can see, they chopped from the back 
portions that are never visible. I'm sure they can do further chopping if necessary, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. So there you can see the uh, sort of how they progressed. <clears throat> from the concept art to the final mesh that will actually be in the uh, in the game. So they removed some details here and there, but overall they've preserved most of the uh, shape of the mesh. And on a mobile device, it won't be noticeable, the triangle reduction. And in terms of detail, it'll pretty much look the same. So in the next section of this video, I'll show all the triangle, or I mean all the meshes for the various train vehicles. Here we have the different train vehicles that'll be part of the game. So you have the minecart, the locomotive, the passenger train, and the container train. Again, it's got that sort of fusion between a modern and old school look, which is what I was going for. And the triangle counts are mobile friendly, and as you can see, they've chopped triangles that are not visible. So again, these will be floating in the uh, world sort of as if they're in a sort of some sort of mag magnetic levitation sort of train. So for now, that'll be the four vehicles that I'll be shipping in the game. And we can look at individual poly counts. There are within a thousand, so that one's a thousand one hundred and four. Yeah, same thing, close. 1,046 and 1,136. So fairly good for the uh, for mobile devices. And still, you know, there's there's plenty of details so that they look appealing. For now, the uh, texturing hasn't been finalized. That'll, as I said earlier, come come about with um, when the level is fleshed out. We'll decide which sort of color scheme to go with. But for now, I'm quite happy with the shape and concept design for the train vehicles. So uh, till next time, probably next year, I'll be showing the character animating, which is going to be worked on soon. Thanks and bye.